All right, let's have a look here. Um, consider the graph shown, uh, consider the function shown in the graph following. Find all values for which the function is discontinuous. Well, definitely at x equals minus one. zero and one for each value in part a statewide the formula uh, the formal definition of continuity does not apply okay so for this one here it's because the limit of x tends to minus one from the left of f of x does not equal the limit as x tends to minus one from the right of f of x at uh, this one here is because there does not exist an f of zero and this one here um again i think it's that um although the value exists um the limit as x tends to one of f of x does not equal f of one um okay okay let fx equal that sketch the graph of it okay uh one so i'll just put one here so when x is more than one it, you get a straight line from three and when it's less than one, um, you get x cubed. So the question is, is it possible to find a value of k such that f1 equals k, which makes it continuous? No. No. Um, you'll always have, there's a jump so that, that's why we can't do it. Let, let's check the answer this is not possible, yeah, yeah Sketch the graph of f is a okay. Oh, the graph. Okay, let let's simplify this a little bit. F x equals x squared minus one times x squared plus one over x squared minus one. So the graph would look like this. Um. And um, it's not defined at minus one and one. That's one. I think it's something like this. Um, plus or minus one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it possible to find K1s and K2s such that and makes the fx continuous. Yes, yes, there, there is. If you make k1 equal to k2, would need to equal this height here. Um, two, I think, would do it. I think two would do it. I just subbed in, if I could cancel those and sub in uh, one. So yeah, two looks like it would do it. It'll make it continuous, basically filling in the, the hole there. Okay. Okay. You still recording sound? Yeah.
sketch the graph of the function y equals fx with the properties 1, true, 7. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, the main is, okay, f has an infinite discontinuity at minus 6. Um, so we'll put a dotted line here. Hmm, f has an, f, F has an infinite discontinuity at minus six, but they just, oh, F six equals minus three. Okay, okay. Um, the limit as we tend to tray, uh, minus three, From the left and from the right is two. But, okay, so that's not actually reached because f of minus three is three. f is, con left, is left continuous but not right continuous at three. And the limit at minus infinity is minus infinity, and at plus infinity is plus infinity. Okay, so uh, um, it shoots up to infinity here and has uh, a jump down here to minus six, and then. Um, it goes up to here, but then jumps to here. Um, and then, sorry, what's happening? It, F is left continuous, but not right continuous at tree. Um, so... Left continuous but not right continuous at three. So what should I do? Should have it go like here. But not right continuous. Left continuous, but not right continuous at three. I wonder how they draw it in the answers. I'm a bit, a bit stuck. Minus eight. Eh, it's mentioned it has a break at minus eight, but but confused uh, why is it broken at minus eight there's no reference to minus eight is there did i miss something in the question maybe does it continues on hmm 
No. The domain of F is that. F has, okay, let's go back in time. Right. Okay, okay. Domain is everything, okay. F has an infinite discontinuity at six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, at minus six. Minus six. Okay, but f of minus six is tray, so that's definitely on the graph. And it's okay, so that's taken care of. That's taken care of. Nothing there. It's also coming from minus infinity. So. Oh, I'm really stumped by the answer at the back here. I really don't know why they put this here. I'm really, really confused by that. So like it shoots up to infinity. So you could have something like like this. Shooting up to infinity and then you can have this point here. Um, and then you're told that um, the limit to the left of minus three and the limit to the right of minus three is both two. Uh, minus three, sorry. Minus three is two. So that's definitely on it. Okay. But f of minus three is three. So that limit is not reached. Uh, and f of minus three is three. So I guess you could just have this like uh, come down here and then it jumps up um f is continuous the f is f is left continuous but not right continuous at tray and then I'm, I'm not sure what to make for f of tree we'll just put a point here um so i don't know i can just uh have it Maybe scoop down like that. It's left continuous, but not right continuous at tree. So I guess, I don't know, I could do something like this then. So let me just check here now. Okay, we got our... Our minus six. is tree. That's the tree. And they made it discontinuous. I don't know if that was so necessary. I feel like it, that's making it more discontinuous than it needs to be. Um, that one looks okay. And that one looks okay. But again, I'm not, I'm not sure why they did this here. So it just seems to me that they've made the answer for this more complicated than it needs to be. Um, I guess because infinity's often can occur in pairs. What I could also do, I might, I kind of slightly prefer it is to have it like this. Uh, I'm a little happier with that. So just to check this again, the domain 
is definitely that. There's no place where that's not true. Okay. F has an infinite discontinuity of minus 6. It shoots up and down. But at F of minus 6, you get 3. The limit to the left and right at minus 3 is 2. But f of minus 3 is 3, so that's a discontinuity there. f is left continuous but not right continuous at 3. Yeah, so the left limit exists but not the right limit. And uh, it goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. I don't know. I think mine is better, provided I haven't made any mistakes, of course. Not too, not too mad on that one now. Well, I think maybe that's a good point to wrap it up there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave on a low note, so to speak, today. Uh, yeah, yeah, not too happy with that. So, anyways. Thanks for watching. If there's any mistakes, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you all next time.